Hey YouTube, it's Arwen. Um, I'm actually trying to look and see if I've got anybody to come in and play with me. So here's what's happening. I'm going to talk today about some reviews that are coming up. Um, I've got a whole bunch, and this is kind of my way of saying, "Okay, Arwen, get on this." So, so oops, I didn't turn myself down. <laughs> so we're going to start with, and y'all can see I've got a stack here of stuff. So, from U.S. Games, I've been sent Joyful Inspirations, and this is a, um, Francis Monroe wrote the book, and Judy Mastrangelo did the artwork. I've actually had the chance to talk with Judy. She's a lovely, lovely person, and her artwork is very, very pretty. I'll just show you the back. You can see I haven't even opened this. None of these decks are open, so, now... I'm really thrilled about this one. People have been asking about it. I I don't hate borders. So I'm not a, a border you person. I like borders. But this one is the Borderless Smith Weight Tarot. Couple things about this. One, it's borderless. Two, Smith Weight. They put Pamela's name there. So I believe that's a first, and it's a very wonderful first. And this is a U.S. Games deck, and I will be, oh, let's look at the back, too. And I will be getting into that. Oh, I see some folks here. Hey, guys. Um, if you've watched my Tarascopes, you know I've used the Mudras card, the Mudras for awakening um, the body. And this is for awakening the five elements. It is by the same people, Alice and Dina Cola and Sabrina Espinay. And I'm super excited about this. Well, super excited is probably going to be my theme of the day, right? Um, I love mudras. I like working with them. Um, and the yoga class that I take, my yoga teacher, or my yogini, 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 yeah, um, talks about the different mudras and and how to do um, certain certain things. And it's really interesting to feel the energy and sit with the energy and feel how changing your hands your position really affects your energy flow. Um, I see that we do have some people in here, so I'm going to say hi, y'all. Hey, guys. Oh, Mary's here. Hey, Random. Now, um, I got a couple of goodies from Schiffer. Let me get them all up. Oh, this is not the... I was going to show you this, but it's not the second edition. Darn it. I thought I had the second edition in my hand. <laughs> Well, I've got the second edition of Beautiful Creatures, and it's got a, a very different cover. I talked to JR about this deck, and it has some different um, images that they chose. They kind of swapped some things out, so they kind of did some different things for it. And I am really looking forward to getting into it if I can find it. Hmm. So, oh, the other deck. <coughs> I've got three from Shipper, so that was that was not one. <laughs> That was the first one. I actually got that from Shipper. Blah. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? The Star Tarot. Let me get a big, good, see if it'll come on. Look at that beautiful artwork, y'all. I cannot wait to get into this one. True story. I'll probably be using this for Terrascopes this week. Uh, oh, and if you're a Terrascope follower, I'm still doing the main scope for everybody. And the individuals are, did y'all hear that? <laughs> Boom. But the individuals are for my patrons on Patreon, and I'm doing pay-per-view. It's cheaper to do Patreon, but I know some people don't like that, so I wanted to make sure everybody had a chance. Now, here's another one, and I've not heard anything about this, so I'm kind of excited to see it. It's called Magical Dimensions Oracle Cards and Activators. Now, I'm not really sure what activators are, so I'm really interested to take a look into it. Um, awaken your intuition and receive guidance and wisdom from the angelic, elemental, and fairy and galactic realms. 44 highly accurate and magically infused activation and oracle cards. So that's pretty neat. There's the back. And of course, these are all these big shiffer boxes, right? Wonderful. Uh, let me pick the, the divers back up. Now, I've got two books. One book is going to be a review in the Cardamancer. That's the magazine I'm now editor and publisher of. I have taken over it. 
Um, do remind your small business folks, if you have friends who are small business folks, Etsy, particularly um, small stores, I'm doing a really deeply discounted ad for small business people. It's going to be an eighth of an ad. I'm, I'm doing this because it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on a page so that you'll have eyes on the page that way. I'm also going to be doing um, a practitioner or a consultant um, directory where people can also advertise themselves as readers, uh, psychics, you know, whatever your specialty is. But this is by Liz Worth. Liz sent me this book to, inter to interview to um, review. It's called Going Beyond the Little White Book. And it's a lovely big book. I mean, it's got a lot of meat in it. It is self-published. It's a Lulu, so it's print on demand. And I really am, it's really nice. It doesn't have pictures, but you know, when you're self-publishing, it's hard to do that because then you've got to go through rights for the artists and all that. But this is, how many pages? Three? Yeah, it's just over 300, it's 335, including the acknowledgement page. So this looks like a really fabulous book. Now, the one that I'm reading and that I've been crowing about, if you've watched me on Instagram or Facebook or anywhere, is by Tracy Rollin. Santa Muerta, the history, rituals, and magic of Our Lady of the Holy Death. She's going to be signing books in Albuquerque, and I'm actually going to do my very best to get over there. Y'all, this book is blowing me away. Uh, it's stunning. It gives you detailed history. It gives you research. It gives you possibilities and thoughts on why certain things are with Santa Muerta. And then it also goes into how to work with Santa Muerta. It gives you a seven-day um, ritual. And she really goes in depth. She talks about there are actually two color systems. Two. See, I can count. Two color systems with Santa Muerta. Um, you know, one is a three color system. Again, I can count three <laughs> and one is seven. So, uh, and I'm loving this book. Uh, I've been reading it every day. I'm actually having to make myself kind of slow down because I'm <laughs> love this book. And look at the cover. I mean, it's beautiful. And I have, um, I set them with a tile over here and she's, been kind of chatting with me up to this point so I'm really interested to see how working with her goes now oh, two of ours is here too so let's do this since y'all showed up and I appreciate it you want to do some readings what do y'all say y'all chat while I go find a deck let's see I want to use an oracle deck let me see. Oh, I know. <laughs> Did you miss me? So, here's what we're going to do. Um, there's like 14 people in here, I think. So, two. Cool. We're going to use dun, 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 Secrets of the Mystic Grove. And hey, Judy, thanks for showing up. Judy is um, an author friend. Yeah. Judy, tell people what you write because, heck, promo, baby. And if you're a male tarot reader, Chase Two Owls is spearheading a round table for the Cardamancer. It's going to be Tarot's. Um, tarot bros and he and I talked about this a little bit and I we both agree that at times tarot can be very feminine oriented so we wanted to give the guys a voice in the magazine so he's put out a call he's taking some applications and he's gonna he's gonna call through it he's getting a lot so and if you have an idea for an article pitch it to me I'm editor at the cardamancer.com I'd love to hear from you now, let's see. Okay. So, here's how we're going to do this. Just say, I'd like a reading 
in all capital letters, y'all, so I can see it. Uh, and Mira and Chase, if you'll help me kind of keep track if y'all are going to be in here. And I'm just going to do a one-card poll. And we're basically what we're going to do is what does the universe need you to know right now? So we can kind of keep it boop, on track. Um, <laughs> Chase says he's getting a lot of stuff. Yeah. And Judy has YA Fantasy. So please look up her name, Judy Triansky. T-R-O-Y, like the city of Troy. A-N-S-K-Y. And Agus Braga Vlogs would like a reading. Is it Agus or Agus? I don't know. I keep wanting to say Angus, so I'm sorry. What does Agus Braga's Vlogs need to know right now? I keep seeing the black bunny card in my head. <laughs> ah, the key. These cards are by Mary Elaine Thomas. And this is mystery moving forward and knowledge. Keep seeking. Keep moving forward. Keep looking for all the answers. Don't accept the first answer. And question the answers you get. So you're right now on a path of seeking. But I want you to remember that the key is you. You, you hold the key to unlock things. And you unlock it with the right questions, with the right secondary questions. So keep investigating and keep asking. Let's see. August. Oh, oh. Okay. Um, random is next. And what would random... Oh, I have to say Cosmic Creepers. I had a cat named Cosmic Creeper because of bed, bed knobs and broomsticks. So, great name. This is for Random Witch. What does Random Witch need to know right now? Girl. Wear a pheasant on your head. That's what you need to know right now. This is celebration, bliss, joy, delight. Something good's going on in your world. You got a little happy energy happening, something good's coming to you. Enjoy it, celebrate it. I mean, really toot your own horn, baby. If you've done something really fab, say so. Um, and let that celebration lead you right now. Really lead with joy and show people you're delighted in them and how much they mean to you. It's a, it's a happy, happy, happy card. So, yay. And wear a pheasant in your head. Um, wild one is next. Judy, to find out how to advertise in the Cartomancer, you can go to thecartomancer.com and click on advertise, and our rate card is there. Or feel free to email me, editor, at thecartomancer.com. Now, this is for wild one. And what does wild one need to know right now? Repose, pause, respite, time out. And this is a little more than relaxing. This is a little more than just taking some downtime. This is about giving yourself space. Something's going on right now with you, Wild One, that's kind of overwhelming. It's kind of like, and you need a respite. You need a, a reprieve. So if it's somebody in your life that you can say to them, you know what? I'm going to need five days. I'm going to need five minutes, whatever. But create that space barrier for yourself, that time barrier, so that you can get your head clear and really get real with what the true issue is. Because there may be a whole lot of extra stuff being brought in by other people, not even the, the people that are involved, but like outside energy. So really focus just on making space for yourself and getting that respite from all the incoming information for just a little bit and you'll find clarity that you really need. Okay. Um, Sherry. Hi, Sherry. Okay. So Sherry, what does Sherry need to know right now, universe? What is the message that she needs from you?
the Fox King. And he is alliance. He's about connections, unity, and creative solutions. The Fox King um, loses his crown, and in order to get his crown back, he has to uh, pair up with birds. Now, birds don't seem, a, a, they're an unlikely alliance, right? So look for those connections that are unusual. Look for those connections that are out of the box. You know, if you're a New Age priestess, contact the Catholics. Something really, you know, offbeat. But look for those connections with people who may not be on the outside. They may not look like your tribe, but on the inside, they have the same purpose. And that's going to help you with the work you're currently engaged in. It feels like a, a new launch. It feels like... um a new business of some type, but look for the unusual connections. Don't, don't look for the, the usual suspects. Branch out from there. Okay. Okay, y'all are talking about steak and eggs and Angus. I know I did it. Dang it. And then Judy. Okay. What does Judy need to know right now? And I'll take like three more, guys. What does Judy need to know right now? Oranges, Judy. I don't know why that comes up, but oranges. So, <laughs> that's the word that just popped into my head. Oh, and you also get the key. I think she looks a little bit like Phryne Fisher, if y'all remember that show. Mystery, moving forward, and knowledge. And for you, it's a little different than it was for Agus. For you, I'm getting a feeling that you really need to break into and peel down. Maybe that's where oranges came from. But get to the center, get to the pith of the matter. You know, that, that pith can be um, bitter sometimes. And so there's some bitterness that you need to bite through to get to the better parts. I, I don't know if that makes sense. But um, I got oranges. And then I got this idea of you really getting into the core of something. You, you know what the big picture is, and now you need to split and get right down into the center of it to really dig into it. So I hope that helps. Um, April looks next. Ha, ha, ha. Um, April, okay. So, April is next. Let me bury that card. What does April McConnell need to know right now, universe? What is the best thing for her to know right now? What does April need to know? Wow, okay. <laughs> this card would not go in. So, you get two cards. First up, Contemplation. Reflection, rumination, and I can't read that word backwards. Musing. Okay. Now I'm going to do them together because the other card is, oh look, there's the black bunny. Identity, recognition, self-awareness, examining. Now let's put this together, right? Contemplation of identity. Who are you under your masks? Who do you want people to see? Now, here's my thing on masks. We all wear them, right? When I'm on the camera, I have my happy, I'm really fabulously happy mask. Sometimes I'm not. Right now I happen to be. Um, but it's about the masks we wear and show to others. And it's okay. It's, it's self-preservation. Um, it's just common sense. To wear some masks sometimes so but what is your you right now for you there feels like there's a real digging down into who you want to be and who you see yourself as and maybe um appealing away of some masks that no longer work for you right when we become adults we don't need the child mask 
you know, when we go home, we might want to pick it up and wear it a little bit because it makes our parents happy. But there are masks that you don't have to have. And it feels like you're kind of working to re-identify and self-identify who you are. And remember, it's important for you to identify yourself, not others. That's big. I hope that helps you, honey. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I recommend Dragon's Eye Oolong. Yummy. It's by Revolution. Love that stuff. Um, April. And Johnny would like to have a reading. Very good, Johnny Dragon. And here we go for Johnny Dragon. And Johnny, are you male or female, sweetheart? I don't know. If you'll let me know. Oops. And your card just fell out. <laughs> Look at all those beautiful, beautiful swans flying. And this is release. Letting go. Freedom. Healing. This is about you releasing some fears. Releasing some... I don't belong... Because look at this. This is swans, and she's got the swan. She's going to let the swan fly on. It's healed. Its wings are healed. It's ready to fly. And she's still connected to the swan because she's created that hairpiece for herself out of the swan's shed feathers. So that's very amazing for her to do. I'm sorry. I'm looking to make sure no other cards jump for you. Nope, just that one. So release, Johnny. Let go of fear. Let go of the need, the feeling that maybe you don't belong, that maybe um, you don't have a flock. You do. And um, be calm and enjoy that energy. And, yeah, it's a lovely, lovely card for you today. So, yay. Okay. I've got one more in case we have it. Okay. I see Chase. No, Jay. Jay. Anti troll of YouTube. That is Johnny. Johnny's a very sweet person. Which hub would like a question? Okay, I mean a reading. <laughs> Sorry, which hub? Okay, your question is Hello, who am I? Which hub? This is for you, and this is what does Witch Hub J need to know right now? What does J need to know right now? It's a nice card for you, J. Dreaming. Gifts. Receiving. Dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. Um, and these are not just, you know, dreams at night. These are daydreams. These are when you you sit and relax and you get that little bloop, 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 go through your head. Bloop, 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 bloop. Y'all know what that is, right? So, Jay, your dreams are important. They're going to bring you things that you need to enhance upon. Um, you know, you'll get a dream. You'll get a thread. And you need to weave that thread into the bigger piece, the bigger picture. Um, it feels like you're working on something, some kind of handcraft, actually. I keep seeing like a wreath or um, a jumble of stuff that you're putting, you're putting things into. Um, in a way, it's kind of like um, I, I have little bowls all over and I just put stuff in them. Like over here, I've got a cat whisker um, or two, a cat claw that they shed, things like that. So, whatever that work is, keep doing it and let the dreams feed that work. It feels like magic work to me. So, keep going. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. You know what, Nathan? Yeah, it's, it's, it's good for you, baby. Chaotic this and that will be the last, unless Chase wants one, because he was here as my moderator also. So this is for Nathan. This is for Chaotic This and That. What does he need to know right now? Interesting. 
Now, this is protection, warrior, safety, acts of kindness. And I love that she's got the, see, the acorn is about what we can grow from something small. So really focus on what's calling you to be a warrior, what's calling you to stand up and speak out and about. I hope that makes sense, that get large idea. Um, there's something going on where you need to really step up and, and speak your piece. I don't know if it's to somebody or to some big um, idea. It, it feels like almost like you're within a group and you kind of need to say, hey, y'all are all doing this, but I actually do not particularly agree with that, and here's why. And it's a fear thing. It's very, very scary to do that, right? So step up, boy. Step up. Let's see. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, Mr. Chase. So this is what that old two owls needs to know. What does my friend need to know right now, universe? First thing I see is fences. So if you need to work on your fence, make sure you've done that. Be why seeing fences because that's kind of what I was seeing in the back. Look at the owl up here, I love the owl. Now, this is one of my favorite cards. It's actually one of the first ones I worked with in this deck when I first uh, gave some. They said, Can you write? And, I went, and this was one of the cards. I'm like, Why is she feeding it? And I came up with the idea of trust, right. Clear intentions and having faith. Trust the process, Chase. Trust that what you're doing is the right way to go. Trust that you have been called. And trust that the weirdness, right? She's the the, the tiger has to trust her to even sniff the strawberry. And she has to trust the tiger to strawberry. So there may feel like an out of balance power thing going on between you and somebody this could be you this could be the other person or it could be like this or there could be a back and forth going on trust that this pivot point is where you meet and interact in harmony even if you're disparate people trust that pivot point I bet if y'all give me any feedback um <laughs> you know what, Amethyst, let's do Amethyst, and then I have to say no to everybody else, because I have to cut it, I have to go do some of these reviews I talked about, <laughs> what does Amethyst need to know right now, what does Amethyst need to know right now, Amethyst, you get the one card that doesn't look like any of the others. It really stands out in terms of style. I mean, it does have a tiger. But it is adventure. Experience. Taking risks. Wish. Sorry, my phone was ringing. I forgot to turn it off. And look at them leaping over the waves. They're going for it. So even though things may seem turbulent to you right now, even though it may seem like what's coming in, you can't surmount, you can't get over it, get on your personal tiger, darling, and leap. You know, go for that amazing leap and really jump on what you want. If it feels kind of scary, kind of risky, go for it. Do it, okay? It's a good thing. Oh, um, Cape Cod, I forgot your name. Holly, I think. This is my deck, and I can't believe you don't know it. Secrets of the Mystic Grove. Artwork by the amazing Mary Elaine Thomas, and written by me.
It's from U.S. Games. So here's the little book. So thanks, guys, for showing up. I appreciate it. I'm going to try to get more videos done. That's what I've been trying to do today is just do some la, 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 this is wonderful <laughs> uh, reviews. And, well, you know, my flip throughs. I'm talking about the decks and things like that. I don't think I'll do a lot of them live because I need to pre-record and post them um, and get some of that stuff done. And, again, please support me by going to Patreon. I'll put a link down on the bottom, and if you'd like to join me there, I'd really appreciate it. So, seek joy, y'all. Pass it on. I'm Arwen, the professional joy seeker.